rocks were working. Stone person, wildflower, wolf, a friend. Weaving the rhythms of the season. She rides the winds of change. Guardian of the needs of the earth. Making relatives great and small. Mother, I see you in the dewdrop. I hear you in the eagle's call. I hear you in the eagle's call. with your love. No love, no Bless us with your love. Lady, I love thee. Lady of Avalon. No love, no love. Bless us with your love. Lady, I love you. Lady of Avalon. No lava, no lava. Bless us with your love. So about eight years ago, I was sitting by a beautiful dam near Karatra in the Garden Route of South Africa. And during this time, I had a lot of time just for myself and I was immersing myself very deep into nature and just connecting. And when I was by this beautiful dam that has been nurturing me for many months, being my grace and my solace. I was listening to all the beautiful sounds around me and as I was there listening and listening and listening I heard a voice within the thought asking me why are you just sitting there? Why are you not creating with? And up until that point, for a great vast majority of my life, 24 years, I didn't know that I could sing when I was in sub A or grade one I 
was very excited about practice of choir and to the auditions of the choir. And I was so excited. And here was all of us standing in a line waiting our turn because the piano, the woman on the piano was going to listen to our voice and yeah. And I was so sure I was going to be inside because that's all I wanted. And she played the couple of notes on the piano. She didn't even look at me. And she just said, next. And that was it. I thought I couldn't sing. I thought I must be, must have been horrific. Because she never even looked at me. She never even acknowledged this child. She never listened to I am what is my story what is my passions do I have a passion to sing no she just judged me there immediately and I never sang again until that moment by the dying and I believed I could create with why why am I just sitting here why am I not creating with the music that nature was providing the birds and the crickets and the frogs and the raindrops, the rustling of the leaves, the skulls, the, the scurrying of the animals. Um, yeah, why? And so when I opened my voice there and then, I couldn't believe what was happening. I could see my voice. And this beautiful geometry started weaving into the web of life. And from that moment, from this age of 24, I never stopped singing. And I had many teachers, um, or a couple of teachers. First, it was just myself and just enjoying learning chants, learning Celtic chants, um, yeah, learning nature chants, learning rainbow chants, just learning. Then I went, I was introduced by the Tibetan Rainbow Labyrinth uh, with uh, Davide and Lahala. And then I went deeper with it with Lahala. And um, then when I moved to Hogsback, I was inside with a couple of sessions with a opera singer here, uh, Gwyneth Lloyd, and it, it, I give thanks to these teachers in my life and for assisting me with my voice and for the awakening of my voice. And so the story is yours to know that if you thought that you could never see, if people made you believe that you couldn't see, if you have a voice, you can sing. It is our birthright to sing if we want to sing, if we have the passion to sing. And the more that we play with our voice, the more that we are with our voice, the more that we are dancing and enjoying and creating and healing with our voice, the more it unlocks, the more it opens, the more we get to know it, the more fun it becomes. It's a musical instrument that you can carry with you anywhere it doesn't weigh anything you don't have to use your hands to to be able to sing you can sing while you're washing the dishes while you're sweeping the floor while you're in the garden while you're cooking food anything you can sing so the voice the instrument of the voice is always available to us and one of my favorite words is Aven, which comes from my Celtic lineages, in my blood and in my soul and my bones. And Aven is a Welsh word for inspiration. And Aven is related to Ceridwen, Ke the, the crone who stirs her cauldron by the lake. And I hope to be a cauldron of inspiration for you, a, a drop of inspiration for you to enjoy your voice. When I rise, let 
Let me rise like a bird joyfully. And when I fall, let me fall like a leaf gracefully. Without regret, and when I stand, let me stand like a tree, strong and tall, and when I lie, let me lie. Like a lake, calm and still, peacefully. And when I work, let me work like a bee, wholeheartedly. And when I play, let me play like a breeze, light and clear, refreshing.